Can the government target legitimate businesses simply because it doesn't approve of the industry? That's the question lawmakers were examining this afternoon on Capitol Hill, and the FDIC chair had some explaining to do. Correspondent Peter Ducey examines the controversial Operation Choke Point. What do these small business owners have in common? I'm the owner of Tomcat Ammunition in Maryland. I am from California, a uh, payday lender. So I own Hawkins Guns in Hawkins, Wisconsin. They all had bank accounts canceled as part of Operation Choke Point, a Justice Department program designed to protect consumers and fight fraud in industries bureaucrats think are high risk, like firearms, tobacco, and gambling. And I was told my application was denied because of our industry. No other questions, no checks. I have one store left. I have one employee left. I had five employees. I had to close my account because I deal in guns. Now Republican lawmakers are concerned that the Obama administration has been trying to make life hard for people offering legitimate services they just don't like. They're going after legal businesses, and in effect, they're weaponizing government to meet their ideological beliefs. Defending the feds, the FDIC chairman, who testified that new guidance has been distributed to banks not to single anyone out. And he says any scrutiny is really just part of an effort to stay ahead of cyber criminals. With the growth in electronic transactions, there's been a corresponding growth in online illegal activity and consumer fraud. Chairman Grunberg also assured lawmakers that the White House has nothing to do with Operation Choke Point. No cigar smoked rooms, filled rooms with your staff and under the basement of the White House. N not to my knowledge. And if you're wondering what's happened to the federal workers who may be responsible for some employees at small businesses losing their jobs, the answer is nothing yet. And their status won't change until the feds finish a review. Shannon. Peter Ducey, thank you. With just a week to go before the deadline to curb Iran's nuclear ambitions, President